I am thrilled to be speaking with one of the stars of the upcoming live action series from Lucasfilm, Star Wars Skeleton Crew, Kiriana Cratter. She plays the character of KB. Kiriana, thank you so much for chatting with me. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for having me. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you, too. Um, before we talk about the show, I want to ask you, what was your history with Star Wars before you were cast in Skeleton Crew? Were you generally aware of the franchise? Were you a fan? Oh, I was a fan. I like yeah. when I was my my whole family were big Star Wars fans. Like my dad introduced me to Star Wars and I remember they were watching the first movie, A New Hope. Yeah. And I loved Princess Leia. I love her so <laughs> much. And um I love R2 D2. I love a scream. And we uh, also we had like you know, Star Wars, um, lightsaber, sorry, the yeah. one on my brain. Mm -hmm. And um, I would play with them with my brothers and we would do fights and we had like a Darth Vader cap. It was, we were, we were big Star Wars fans. So when I got nice. the role, I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> we right. so awesome. Fans. That's so cool. Uh, so before we talk about getting the role, I want to ask you how your acting career got started. How did, was this something that you were interested in from a very early age? Yeah, um, I started with singing and eventually I moved to like regional theater, but um, and then I just really fell in love with like the performing aspect of theater and we went to LA, I did some acting classes and mm -hmm. everything just started to flow like that. <laughs> it was just, I just fell in love with the craft and um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and what were some of your earlier roles that stuck out to you? Uh, as experience before you got into Skeleton Crew? Well, when I was in Colorado, before I came to LA, I did this movie called The Healing Garden. Mm -hmm. And I loved doing The Healing Garden. I met so many like amazing people and it really got me, like it gave me like a taste of the acting world. Okay. And, um, it was an indie film, like a Christian indie film. And it was really fun. It was really great. And um, Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, all right, let's get into how you got cast in Skeleton Crew. When did you first hear about this project? I guess what I've heard before is that when people go into audition for Star Wars, they don't necessarily know that it's going to be Star Wars. Was that your experience? Uh, what was the audition process like for Skeleton Crew? Well, it was very secretive. I didn't even know it was Star Wars until like the callback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they just told us it was like a Marvel movie. Like all the names were different too. Okay. And the script was slightly different. Like everything was very, very secretive. I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So uh, obviously they liked your performance. They brought you back in. And what was it like for you when you found out that you got the role? It was crazy. I, <laughs> I was shocked. I didn't think I was going to get the role. Cause you never know with like auditions cause it's just a long process and there's a lot of different aspects. So you kind of go into yeah. it like, I'll probably not get the role, but you know what? I'm going to do my best performance and I'm going to have fun. And it was a, it was a shocker and I was crying. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> That's awesome. So I don't want to get into any kind of spoiler territory for the show. We've still got a few months before this comes out, but Based on what we know already and what you're kind of allowed to tell me, what can you say about your character of KB? Well, um, she's more on the introverted side. side mm -hmm. of, she's kind of like me, which I really loved. Um, and uh, let me think without spoiling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that she's wearing the, the visor in the trailer, right? So... Was that comfortable for you to wear on set? How was that process? We went through a bunch of like different prototypes and it was a big team who helped me with like fitting that all in. We did like scans and um, it was a, uh, it was really cool, but it was dark whenever yeah. I was wearing it. And, um, but they still made it really easy to look through. They, they made, okay. they did a good job. Um, there's actually many little holes in the visor um, whenever I'm looking through it. And so that's the way I could see, but it was really dark. It was like looking through like a colander most of the time. Okay. <laughs> Are you familiar with um, Star Trek, The Next Generation? It looks a little bit like 
this character Jordy LaForge. He wears the kind of visor. Have you seen that? Yeah, I've, I've seen some photos. <laughs> you have to talk to uh, LeVar Burton about your common uh, experience <laughs> wearing that on yes. set if you can meet him. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to ask you, Skeleton Crew creators John Watts and Christopher Ford have compared this series to the 1980s Steven Spielberg kids movies like The Goonies and E.T. And I'm curious if you have had the chance to watch any of those. Yeah, um, actually, before we started filming, I watched all um, E.T. and The Goonies with all the kids. It was like nice. a little bonding experience. Oh, but... great. <laughs> what did really... you think of them? I love, I love them. I love E.T. He's like so cool. And I love his little voice. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the journey in Goonies. It was just really fun. So would you agree having finished the season after you finished shooting, did you agree that the spirit of the show kind of matched what you saw in those movies? Yeah, I think it has that like fun aspect with the journey. And but I think Skeleton Crew still still is different and has like it's really cool because it's like a Star Wars version. Right. So it was really, really fun. <laughs> so I got to see you and your fellow castmates appear on stage at Star Wars Celebration promoting the show. I want to ask you, what was that experience like for you going to the convention? It was amazing. I was, I, I'd never been to London before. So I yeah. got some, like afternoon tea. And then the day of the convention, we were in like a green room and I got to meet like all the Star Wars um, other people. And I was like, <laughs> I was fangirling. <laughs> I took photos with everyone. And then oh, cool. before I got on stage, it was very nerve wracking, but it was really cool to you know, see everybody like, um, and to also meet some people. And I had a really good good time and with all the other kids too. We yeah. all were kind of having the same fangirl experience. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that you think you would like to continue? Because a lot of actors who appear in Star Wars shows and movies go on and they'll like continue to go to conventions and meet fans and sign autographs. Is that something that would interest you in the future? Yes, definitely. It's like, it's... Oh, it's so amazing to meet fans. Like, it's like, wow, I'm actually in something and people like me. <laughs> it's like everything comes to life. Very cool. So uh, did you pay attention to this past weekend? They had the D23 convention and we had all the news coming out about Skeleton Crew. We got the trailer, teaser trailer, finally. And they had a very neat looking costume display of all the pirate characters did you get to see all that what did you think of all this news coming out about skeleton crew finally it was amazing i i was so excited to see the trailer because it was my first time seeing it and i watched it with my dogs and my family and it was oh uh, it was so like exciting to see like things coming to life and yeah like the reality was coming to me that like the show was coming out because it was such a long pro process and right yeah, and I saw all the little um, characters. It's kind of cool to watch them be like, I know their little story. <laughs> How long has it been for you since you actually shot this? Uh, it's been like a year, about mm. about a year. Okay, so yeah, so, yeah it takes a long time for these things to finally materialize for, for the fans to get to see. And also at D23, they were showing off this technology called Stagecraft and the volume. Did you guys get to utilize that at all in Skeleton Crew? Is that something you can talk about? Yeah, we used the volume and it was, it's crazy how big it is. Like when I saw photos of it online, it, it looked smaller than I thought. And then mm -hmm. when I was there, it was like huge and it was crazy to see like um, all the little backgrounds and the way like when the camera moved. Right. The, the scenery would move it was like it was crazy and also how um they built the sets around the volume and like one of my castmates he actually like um banged into the volume because it was so realistic <laughs> you didn't know if it was like part of the set or okay. the actual like screen and panels <laughs> that that's really cool yeah i got to see a demonstration of how the volume works. And it was really fascinating as somebody who's interested in like the behind the scenes process of how these shows get made. Uh, it was it was super neat to see that. Let's talk a little bit about your fellow castmates, starting with Jude Law. He got to introduce the trailer at D23. 
this past weekend. What was it like working with him? It was amazing. He was really like a second father to all of us. Like we bonded so much over the course of filming. And it was like, it was amazing to work with him because I feel like there's something really special about working with like such an experienced and talented actor. Yeah. Like um, there was like one time we were doing a scene and it was just really, it was really hectic. It was just me and Jude. And what I love about Jude is that he's like very collaborative. Like he brings the energy and he passes it to you. So like you're feeling the same thing. And it was just amazing. Also how he could switch from like fun mode and make us laugh to like professional mode. Like that's something I've always wanted to like tap into. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I'm, I've been a fan of his for a long time, and I'm excited to see him in Star Wars. He seems very enthusiastic about being in the show, for sure. So tell me a little bit about some of your castmates who are around your age, the other kids in the show. Um, did you, and you talked about kind of bonding before production, but once things had wrapped up, have you guys remained friends? Are you still uh, keeping in touch with each other? Yeah, we have a, a little group chat and actually last week we played Roblox together for like four <laughs> hours. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, we're all still good friends. We're still talking and chatting and I see Ryan a lot. Um, Ravi and Rob are a little farther away, but hopefully we'll all see each other soon and, you know, hang out. Really fun. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure you'll be getting back together for the media tour as this approaches, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I saw that you have a Lego minifigure based on your character of KB. I have to ask you, have you, did you get this already? And if not, like, are you excited to have that uh, exist? <laughs> yes. I, I didn't even know that was happening. Okay. <laughs> I saw the photo. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so cute. <laughs> and I saw like little Neil and Wim and Vern. It was so cute. And also the spaceship. I, hopefully. Yeah, I should buy that and make Legos. Like my brother's really experienced with Legos, so that'd be a fun little activity <laughs> to do. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure you'll be getting action figures and all that, all the kind of stuff that comes with being in a Star Wars series. Uh, that's pretty much it uh, that I had for you. I just kind of want to know. Lastly, is there anything else that you think that Star Wars fans should know about Skeleton Crew before it comes out in December? Stay tuned for or the anything journey. Anything else that you want to say about the project? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think That's great. it's going to be really, really fun. And I hopefully, yeah. I think everyone's going to love it. I think it's going to be great. I'm super looking forward to it. As you can see, I already bought the t shirt. So um, oh it really, gosh. yeah, <laughs> I got that in London <laughs> awesome. at, at uh, Star Wars Celebration. So I'm very excited to see it. And I want to thank you so much for your time and for chatting with me about Skeleton Crew and congratulations and good luck on everything coming up for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely.